the way I wanted to reach across that table and turn it every which way but loose. <laughs> Today we are talking about mm, things that annoy me at work. Yeah. So this is a disclaimer. Things that I'm talking about in my video today has nothing to do with my current job. Okay? We're talking about past experiences from previous jobs. Okay? Because I feel like somebody needs to hear that. I am a nice person. A very nice person. Genuinely nice. And I don't bother nobody. Excuse me. I don't bother nobody. I, you know, I'm just easy to get along with. So, when someone don't like me, it's it's their problem. It's not my problem. I don't care to find out why you don't like me. I, I don't care. That's a you problem. So, if you're mean to me, if you're a big mean, I will not speak to you. I'm not gonna fake no, good morning, uh, how you doing? I'm not gonna make small talk with you. And if you're the one who, who don't know that I know that you be talking crap about me and how much you don't like me. I don't care about your weekend, I don't care about the dog, the turn, your parents, the grandparents. I don't care about nothing that has anything to do with you. I can be professional about it and come to you with anything that's related to work. Anything outside of that, I really don't care. I don't. Birthdays come around, I'm not signing the card. I'm not doing it. I used to just put my initials in the card. I won't even put my name in the card. Who is the card for? Oh, here you go. I don't need to sign it. I'm good. I don't care what it is. I'm not putting up money for a gift. I don't care if it's a baby shower. I don't care if it's retirement, birthday. I don't care what it is. Work anniversary. I don't care what it is. I'm not contributing to anything. Not even my signature in a card. Okay? And no one's going to make me do that. And some people might see it as petty, but... But this, okay, now that I think about it, this might have been petty. I'm going to let y'all decide if this is petty or not. So, it was this girl at my previous job. She didn't like me, always talked about me, blah, blah, blah. Like, y'all know, y'all know the one. But always smile in your face. So, she didn't know that I knew that she would always talk about me. So, um, well, at that time, she didn't. Because I did pull it to the side. Okay, I'll get that, I'll get, I'll tell that next time. I'll tell this, I'll tell that story after this one. So, um, it was a potluck coming up, and uh, usually I bring in buffalo chicken dip. I have made it the last time. Um, I brought that into the office last time. People liked it, so I was going to bring it again. So I put my name on the sign-up sheet, whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop, buffalo chicken dip. And she saw that I, what I was bringing. Oh, I love your buffalo chicken dip. It is so good. Oh, I usually don't like spicy things because, you know, black pepper is spicy to me, and I can't handle all that spice. But you made it just right for me. So, yeah, I am excited about your buffalo chicken dip because usually when I have it, when there's like, uh, when there's parties, whatever, and they have buffalo chicken dip, I can't eat it because it's just too spicy. Oh, okay. I <laughs> figured thanks for letting me know. Um, let me get that sign up sheet. Let me mark out buffalo chicken dip because I'm not making anything that you like. Heck no, I'm not making you anything that you like. So, did I bring buffalo chicken dip? No. I didn't. I don't remember what I brought actually. But I know I wasn't bringing no buffalo chicken dip right now. I wasn't bringing that back to the office. And now that I think, see, see the Scorpio in me, see, God was working on me. The Scorpio in me would have made it, it made it extra spicy. Yeah. But I did. So, here's my little story about her, how I had to pull her to the side because she just kept running her mouth. And she called me on a bad day, she called me on a good day. And I had to bring, and I had to say something. Um, so, just a little background. Um, I used to work for a hospital and used to work their um, insurance claims. And with her, I would deal with claims that they consider high dollar. And we have to work those claims, we have to touch those claims every week. Every single week we have to touch the claims. So, um, how our work was given to us. It was given to us on a spreadsheet. Our supervisor would send a spreadsheet out to us and we will filter it out by our collector ID. So, um, her and I had the same 
we have the same first name initial, but different last name initial, okay? So, I will always, when I, when I get the spreadsheet, I will always filter out with my collector ID. I never look at anybody else's work. I don't care about anybody else, anyone else's work, about anybody else's work. I'm just focused on my work, okay? So, my supervisor, she called me to her office, and she said that, um, you know, upper management, they are reviewing, they reviewed the high dollar claims, and a lot of them haven't been touched for like, over, I think it was like over a month. Like, it's been a long time since they've been touched. So, I'm like, okay, that's weird because I know I do my work. She said, hold on, what's your collector ID? And I told her, and she was like, okay, I should have known. I wanted to ask you first before I brought her in because, you know, I get I get y'all confused. And I was like, okay. I left out the office, and she came, you know, she came in after me, whatever, and she got in trouble. She got in trouble, whatever. So she started telling people, like, it was my fault that she got in trouble and how I would – like I was given the account, like I was looking through her work and telling the supervisor that she wasn't working the account. I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> you think I want to be worried about your work? I barely want to do mine. <laughs> I barely want to do my work. So you think I'm going to make extra work to go through your work to see what you are and aren't doing and then report back? No, I'm not doing that. And instead of, and this is another, ooh, this is another thing that gets on my nerves. Somebody who doesn't take accountability. If I make a mistake at work, I'm gonna own up to it. People just can't take accountability for anything. It's always somebody else's fault. Whew. We're gonna talk about that in a different video with friendships, <laughs> in regards to friendships. But anyway, so she um, was texting one of my coworkers about me, my coworker. She was like, and I look at a date. I was like, this is over the weekend? She's so pressed about me that she can't even enjoy her weekend? Girl, <laughs> girl. So to make a long story short, she has said something that really set me off. I don't know if I was having, she caught me on a bad day, a good day, I don't know. But it really pissed me off to the point where I had to go to my supervisor and tell her, I'm about to talk to, did I give her a name in the story? Um, I'm going to call her Dustina. Because she was dusty. She was dusty and dirty and dingy. I'm, I'm going to just say that. Like she had this, you can tell like, she wasn't like washing her clothes, bathing, you know, you could, you could just tell. It's like that stench that she had that you could tell that she was not doing what she was supposed to be doing. And, um, and it's not because she, you know, didn't have running water or couldn't take a bath or anything. She was just lazy and dirty and dusty. So I told my supervisor, I'm about to talk to Dustina and I need a third party there. So she was like, are you okay? And I was like, I will be, you know, I'm fine. I will be. So... <laughs> so she um, we went into the conference room and I was fully prepared <laughs> for this moment because one um, my cousin had sent me something from Tumblr uh, a thread about um, Karen's and their tears and what to say to them um, <laughs> in the workplace when you confront them so I used that so shout out to my cousin I love you I miss you um, so and she and she's the one who will turn out turn those tears on she would turn on those crocodile tears and put on a show. Um, yeah, so I confronted her about it. I was like, I'm tired of you. I know you've been saying XYZ about me. I'm tired of you spreading lies about me on the team, blah, blah, blah. And I brought up the incident like, I know you're telling people that it's, you think it's my fault that you got in trouble, da, da, da. And she just started, tch, right on cue, she just started crying. So I said, so I stopped and I said, do you need a moment to get yourself together? You can, you can step outside and get yourself together if you need to. Because I'm not going to continue to have a conversation with you and you're just going to turn on the water work. Those are fake tears. Let's be real. So if you need to get yourself together, get some tissues, splash some water on your face, you can step out, do those things, and then we can come back and continue this conversation without all those tears. So, of course, she was like, I didn't say no things about you. Um, I, I don't know where those are coming from, why people are saying that, and where the tears are from, and you know, I respect you and I love you and I enjoy working with you and da -da 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 -da. and I'm just looking at her like and I had to tell her like okay well I've seen the text messages because you have you you were stupid enough to put that in writing and I have the text messages would you like to see them do you need or do you need a reminder do you need a refresher because I can show you the text messages then she started crying again. I said, 
let me tell you something right now. Those tears that you're using are not working on me at all. You always use those tears to put out fires that you started. You're real good about throwing a rock and hiding your hand. You're real good at that. Stop using those tears to try to manipulate the situation because it's not going to work on me. It may work with other people. It may work at home with your daddy. But he, but here, it doesn't work. Not with me at least. So I highly suggest that you stop spreading lies about me and we won't have any further issues. And got up and left. Oh, when I told her she could step outside to get herself together, she didn't know what to do. <laughs> She didn't know what to do because <laughs> she never had somebody, she never had somebody that those tears didn't work on. The way I wanted to reach across that table and turn it every which way but loose, wanted to bop her on her head like a whack a mole and knock her eyes down to her kneecaps. Whew, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, I feel like I talked way too long, so I'll probably make a part two. Yeah, I'll probably make a part two of like my work annoyances. So let me know down below what areas, what pisses you off at work. You know, this is a safe space, you can vent and whatnot. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments. I'll share it up in the comments, child. And if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you for watching and sticking around. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate if you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.